Hello and welcome. In this snip, I'll show you how you can programmatically create Windows Service Monitors in System Center Operations Manager. This code has been tested on SCOM 2012 R2, 2016, as well as 1801. First, we have some prerequisites. One, I'm logged on to the SCOM management server. Two, I'm logged on to the server as an account that has at least authoring privileges to the SCOM environment. Three, we need the Ops Manager SDK Extended PowerShell Module. This module is available on GitHub. And lastly, we need a CSV file. The CSV file has our name, our service name, and our service display name, where our name is our fully qualified domain name of our server, the service name is the service we want to monitor, and then we have the service display name for the service we want to monitor. Next, we have a PowerShell script. First, I will input our path to our CSV file. Next, I'll define the services variable with our path to the CSV file. Then we have our SCOM variable, which defines our management server. And finally, we have our MP variable, which defines the management pack that we'll be putting these customizations in. Whenever doing any customizations within SCOM, you should always use a custom management pack. Next, we'll import the Ops Manager SDK module and the Operations Manager module. And finally, we have our for each loop, and this is where all the heavy lifting is done. The two commandlets of concern are new OM service monitor and new OM override. New OM service monitor is what actually creates the monitor within SCOM. We have a few mandatory commandlets. First, the SDK we define as our SCOM management server. MP name we define as our management pack. Monitoring name we define as our service name. Monitoring display name is our service display name and we'll append Windows Service to the end of that. I'll scroll over to the right so we can see more of the parameters. Next we have our service name which is our service name from the CSV file. Our parent monitor is an availability monitor. Our class name within SCOM is Microsoft Windows Server Operating System. Unhealthy state is error. Unhealthy when running, we're going to set to false. You could set this to true if you had a service that you wanted to alert on if it were running, but in most instances, we'll leave this as false. Ignore startup type, we'll set to false. We'll set disabled to true. And the reason why we want to do that is because if this were set to false, SCOM would try to monitor the service on every Windows server that you have in your environment. And this is why we use the new OM override commandlet as well. Again, we have the SDK, which is our SCOM management server. Our MP name is the management pack. Workflow type is monitor. Our target is Microsoft Windows computer. The context instance is the ID that we get earlier in the for each loop. What context instance is using is the GUID from the computer name as assigned in SCOM. Next, our override name is our service name. Override display name is service display name with the Windows service appended to the end of that. Our override workflow is service name. Override parameter is enabled and override value is true. Now, let's run the for each loop and create our service monitors. One thing to note, depending on the speed of your environment and the speed in particular of your SCOM database, this script will take a minute to run as it's creating the monitors within SCOM. And since this will take a few minutes, I will pause the recording while we wait for the script to run. Welcome back. Our script is finished. I have a couple more things to note. One, the Ops Manager Extended PowerShell module has a fully featured help file. And two, the commandlets in particular that we used, new OM service monitor and new OM override, return true if they were successful in running. So we have six true statements since we created three new monitors and three new overrides. If I jump over to the SCOM console and we go to the authoring tab and the monitors section, you'll see I've already scoped the view to just Windows Server operating system. If I refresh availability monitor, we will have three monitors created. Notice they're all gray. This means that they are not enabled globally. 
However, if we right click on one and go to properties, you'll see that it still monitors is enabled is unchecked. However, if we go to overrides and click view summary for the monitor, you'll see that our changed value is true parameter enabled for the name sql01.sandlot.dom. And that's how we can create Windows Service Monitors within SCOM with PowerShell. Thank you for watching.